The Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer, also known by its much shorter name, GOCHE, was a satellite built by the European Space Agency and launched in 2009. The primary mission of the satellite was to create a high-detail map of Earth's gravitational field. By using three pairs of accelerometers, the craft was able to measure how the Earth's gravitational field changed over certain areas of the planet. This data also revealed information about the structure of Earth's mantle and volcanic regions. The satellite also measured ocean surface height, and by pairing the data from the ocean height with the gravity data, scientists were able to track the speed and direction of ocean currents. In order to get this data more accurately, the satellite was placed into a very low orbit, around 255 kilometers above the surface. At this altitude, the atmosphere is thick enough to cause significant drag. A satellite in this low of an orbit will usually experience enough drag to cause it to re-enter the atmosphere within a few weeks. To counteract this, Gochi was equipped with an extremely efficient ion engine. The engine used electricity to accelerate xenon ions to very high speeds. Gochi launched with 40 kilograms of xenon, enough to allow the probe to stay in orbit for about 20 months. To minimize drag, Gochi was also built with a set of fins to keep it stable in orbit, and was long and thin. The craft's frame was about 5 meters long and 1 meter wide. Goche was placed in orbit by Rocket, a Russian expendable launch system. The launch took place on March 17, 2009 from a launch site in northern Russia. The satellite had a launch mass of 1,077 kilograms. Goche was placed into a sun-synchronous orbit with an initial altitude of 270 kilometers. During the first 45 days of operation, the satellite was allowed to drop into a lower 255 kilometer orbit. In this time, many of the spacecraft's systems were tested to confirm everything was working properly. Upon reaching its planned orbit, Goche turned on its engine and maintained altitude. Lower solar wind pressure than expected meant the probe needed less fuel than what was originally estimated, so the mission was extended past the planned 20-month length. In November of 2012, the orbit was decreased further to 235 kilometers in order to get higher resolution data. At this point, there was enough fuel left for about 50 more weeks of operation. On the 21st of October 2013, the ion engine ran out of fuel, and the probe re-entered 24 days later. The probe disintegrated in the atmosphere near the Falkland Islands after 55 months in orbit.